Hi everyone, this is Mommy AJ and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video, I will be talking about Netflix on homeschooling. So, can you ever imagine incorporating Netflix with homeschooling? Yes, you can. Even with non-homeschooling kids, those who go, who go to regular schools, you can still incorporate Netflix. But before that, before going on further to that, I just want to say that this video is a collab with Everyday Blessings. Nina Baldwin is a homeschooling mom of six. So I'm going to put a link of her channel down in the description box or maybe here somewhere. All right. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> of um, favorite shows that uh, my children loves to watch on Netflix and they are all educational so you can learn from them but before that I just want to say that um, how can you incorporate movies any movies or series or shows um, to to your homeschooling or to learning. Um, I just want to say that whenever your child, child or children are watching movies, you have to make sure that first you know what they are watching. Um, it's very important for us parents that we know what they are watching because of course we don't know. Um, maybe there's some pops up, pop ups there of something that is not appropriate for kids. So with Netflix, what's good about it is is you can categorize it with uh, those that are for grown-ups and those for children now for the children um, they can watch whatever they uh, they can, uh, want to watch there but it's mostly the ones that are educational now these are the um, the ones that we have already watched I'm just going to uh, share it to you maybe you haven't watched it yet and the second is uh, if you're if your kids are watching you have to make sure that they not only watch with their eyes but they have to also learn I will tell them that you don't only use your eyes but you have to learn something so you have to use your ears so even if we're just watching movies like um, like ordinary like any cartoon movies um, the house is silent I, I uh, we're used to to, we're used to like that, that the house is silent because we're not only watching with our eyes we're also watching with we're listening and we're also learning from that and third one is um i'm giving them objectives of what they are going to learn with that one that they are watching and then in the middle and at the end of that of that show or that movie they are watching um i ask them questions if they understood and from the start, um, I usually do that, but lately, I don't need to do that. I, I'm, I'm not doing that one anymore because uh, they are the ones that are already going to tell me what they have learned and there's no need for me to ask questions. They, they're also incorporating it when they are playing. So for example, when they're playing with their Legos or their Mega Blocks, they're incorporating number blocks and alpha blocks, which is a very good thing. So you know that they've learned and they understood what they watch, what they're watching and also um this is a tip um in order for you to to have that conversation like you can um you can get in touch with what they're watching uh, what they are learning um i usually sit with them okay so that's the time also that you're going to be asking the questions when they don't understand if they don't understand but uh, most of the time I'm very busy it's either in, I'm in the kitchen or I'm inside the room um, feeding my my youngest son so what I do is just I make sure that I hear what they're watching and then just check on them from time to time so number one is twirly woo so these are very colorful and curious little chickens I don't know if they're a family of chickens so we have great big who twirly loo chickity and chick and then they go on adventures with their boats and you will you're going to learn about words like um, up down so these are very simple words noisy um, underneath behind so this 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 kind of movie is good for little ones like my my Ava who's still learning um, so uh, learning words so this is good for her um, next one is number blocks number blocks of course is about numbers so it's related to math and it's good with adding up numbers um, Jethro can really relate to this my five-year-old um, he, he knows already how to add numbers but this is uh, something that um, would stick to him I mean he would 
always remember this one like two plus two or two times two is is four so uh and they're also incorporating songs which is very very good um my children love music so this is something that interests them especially when there are songs in it and then the next one is alpha blocks so alpha blocks is about learning how to read and spell so they're going to remember that because each letter has um, its own characteristics like d is a drummer and he always says so they're going to remember that one um ava still cannot remember all of these but it's fine the next one is storybot now storybot i can this one's for mostly for Nas, but Jethro can also understand some of it. Not, not all of it, but some of it. So that's still good. So these are like little creatures. They're almost like robots, five little um, creatures. And they, they track down answers to little kids' questions. So these little kids are going to ask questions like, how do you make music? How, how, does it, uh, how do you produce it? Um, how do you make computer and so on like that and then they're going to be going on adventures to learn about this and they're also incorporating songs on it so that's very nice so the next one is the magic school bus and the magic school bus rides again so there's a teacher and students and they're going on the magic bus and then they're going on adventures so i think this is the very reason that um, Ness fell in love with rocks with geology and all of that um, because of the magic school bus and it's a good thing uh, so this one's for Ness. um at some point little ones like um ava they, they won't understand this one they just they're just going to gonna like it because it's colorful and all but for jethro which is five years old um i think it's going to be okay with him um, he's going to be learning some maybe not all not all the terms that you're using but this um movie it's very captivating to the child so i'm sure they're gonna be learning something out of it i mean it's not going to be zero out of ten, maybe five out of ten with the little ones. And then for the, the big ones like Ness, I'm sure that he knows a lot from it. All right. And then the next one is Charlie's Color Form City. So it's a very colorful movie uh, series um, about shapes and how you're going to incorporate it or use it when you're going to make objects. Like, for example, scooters. So what shapes are you going to use? Uh, you're going to be... Uh, Charlie's going to be choosing the shapes that he's going to use to form that scooter or a car or a oh, balloon like that and then the next one is number seven is the cat in the hat with the cat in the hat so it's this one's I think it's also an old movie I don't know if this one is a new edition um, but this one is I, I've heard and I've watched this one from before when I was I don't know if I was small but I knew about this one a long time ago already so the cat in the hat and with he's he the cat he's teaching sally and nick about awfully nifty things and um they travel around the world or places like underground or inside your ears to know more about ears and um i i, I won't forget this this uh movie because um this is where my kids learn about um how wor worms help with uh, help with um, the growing of plants. So how, how does a worm helps plants grow? So yeah, and there's also songs. So that's, that's really nice for my, good for my kids. And then number eight is wild crabs. Now wild crabs, they are they're the crabs brothers and they are going on adventures in the wild and they're learning about animals, so science. So it's also good. And then this one is a favorite of Jethro so if you've seen and watched my previous video about my first graders homeschool curriculum I've mentioned to you that we're doing um, unit study about dinosaurs so dinosaur train you're learning from Netflix right so there's this little t-rex named buddy and he's an adoptive of this family pteranodon family and then they're going on the train to learn about other creatures 
and they're gonna learn about the different periods of Jurassic, Triassic, and then they're going to be learning about dinosaurs and other mammals during that time. So it's very, it's very um, educational. And then this one, this is not only my family's, no, my children's favorite, but this is also my favorite. So far, my favorite of all the ones that we've watched, all the series that we've watched that are cartoons because, I don't know, because I love, first is, okay, wait. <laughs> okay, and then the last one is, not only my kids' favorite, not only Nas' favorite, but this is also one of my favorites aside from Troll Hunters and I forgot the other one. A favorite, but I forgot. Anyway, um, The Deep. Okay, The Deep is a, a series which is about the Necton family. So they are underwater explorers. I think they're like biologists and um, engineers that are working underwater. So they have their own. Whoops. They have their submarine and they're living there most of their time, most of their lives there. And they have this family, this um, mom and dad has two children. And guess what? They're homeschooled. It has been mentioned a few times in the series that they are homeschooled. And you can see that, yeah, homeschooling doesn't, uh, you, you just don't learn inside the classroom or i mean inside the room or inside your house but you're going to be learning everywhere and they love adventures they love to know a lot about sea creatures underwater um um what else um uh, pirates and um secrets secrets of the underwater and uh, just the, the thing about this the deep is i have to be watching with them because not all of it is um, a fact some of it are fiction uh stories but yeah i think this is something that you still could learn because they're you're learning about lobsters and whales and sharks and all of not all of the creatures but most of the sea creatures and it's very fun um adventure with family uh, that is something that we we really really love especially at, at this time that we're just staying here at home there's something that we miss so if i remember about this uh, when i was asking the children last night about the fa their favorites and then we remembered the deep and then i said oh i, I miss having adventures with uh, with the entire family and they also miss that one too and hopefully after this one after all of this is finished we're going to be doing um adventures yeah so i think that's it for today guys those are our top 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 10 um, movies or series or whatever you call them that you can watch on netflix that you could also learn from so yes you can incorporate netflix on homeschooling or or with regular students who are going to 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 school so yeah that's it for today guys thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do don't forget to click the bell so that you will get notifications whenever we post videos um which is hopefully every thursday and i'm planning to do it two times a week i know i don't know let's see and give this one a thumbs up if you like and if you learned a lot from from this uh, video thank you guys for watching have a great day Bye bye